Hey friends, this video is for our second through fourth grade team for March 13th, which is week two of March. All month long, we are learning the life app of cooperation, working together to do more than you can do alone. And our memory verse for the month, two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Can you guys even see me? It's like way up high. I don't know. Okay. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Ecclesiastes 4.9. You guys probably laugh at me every week when I do that because you can actually never see me. All right, so week two, we are looking at Exodus chapter 17 at a time where Joshua is leading the Israelites in a fierce battle against the Amalekites. When Moses held up his staff, the Israelites were winning the battle. When Moses got tired, Aaron and Hur came to the rescue and helped him hold up his arms. The Israelites won the battle because of how well they all cooperated. So our bottom line, work together to help someone succeed. Like her and Aaron, our kids need to realize that working together isn't about doing something for themselves. You can work with people to help others accomplish something as well. So, and I have that marked in your action Bibles just so the kids can really see the story if you want to read it, read it to them. So the Amalekites are coming. They're going to ambush the Israelites, but they see them and they call. So Moses calls to Joshua and says to choose his best soldiers to fight off these raiders. And he says he'll stand on top of the hill with, his, with the staff of God in his hand. So the battle rages all day and Moses keeps his hands in the air and the Israelites are winning. But Moses' arms get tired and his arms drop. And when that happens, the Israelites start to lose. So to win the fight, Moses has to keep his arms raised. But Moses can't hold his arms up all day. So Aaron and her are forced to hold Moses' tired arms up so the Israelites will win the battle. And you can see that picture there. So as he's holding the battle up, they know they're going to win. And after a tiring day for the soldiers and Moses, God gives them the victory. And at sunset, Joshua's men are victorious because Aaron or Moses held up God's staff. So if you'd like to read that to your kids, you can. Um, we'd love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage room for coffee, donuts, and most importantly, prayer. Great way to start the morning. Then just make sure that you're in your small group area by 830 and 1030. When kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, our welcome activity is a little rhythm challenge. So um, as kids come in, you can invite them to create a rhythm with their voice, clapping, snapping, stomping, etc., and then try to get the rest of the group to repeat their rhythm and just kind of pass that along as kids are coming in. Then your intro activity is a little body instrument concert. So you can split kids up into groups. Maybe some kids clap, some kids slap their lap, some kids snap. Um, and then you're going to kind of be the conductor and have them say one, two, three, four, and make their little instrument. They could rub their hands together. You're just going to kind of be the little conductor and have them put on a body instrument concert. And then just say, which was more important, the conductor or the musicians? Well, we needed both to succeed as an orchestra. The musicians need the conductor to do their job well, and the conductor counted on the musicians to play their parts. So when we work together, we can help each other do our best. Well, we're going to go to a large group and hear about a leader who needed a lot of support from his friends to win. So then you will head to large group at 10 after. When large group's over, you have a game called Arms Up Tag. So what you're going to do is, um, if you have a group of 8 to 10 kids, you're going to choose two kids to be the Amalekites, and the rest of the group will be Israelites. And you're going to choose one kid from the Israelite to be Moses. So you might have to split your classroom into two teams because you're probably going to have about 20 kids. So you might have to split them into two groups. So the Amalekites, which are the two people, are going to try to tag and freeze as many Israelites as they can. So if the boys might go to the garage door room, um, girls, maybe you tell them that they have to do this by walking or walking tiptoes or hopping like a frog just to make it a little bit harder since they can't necessarily run in this room um and then the, the fellow israelites can untag their friends as long as they are not tagged but moses has to keep their arms in the air for the whole time if the kid playing moses lowers their arms you call out freeze and all of the israelites have to freeze for three seconds the amalekites can continue tagging when the israelites are frozen so count down three seconds loudly so the israelites have a chance to get moving again at any point, two Israelites can help Moses hold up he or she's arms. Um, and the Israelites holding up Moses' arms can't be tagged. So play a few rounds, let the kids rotate parts. And if the Amalekites are dominating the game, call time before they have a chance to freeze all the Israelites. And again, you can make it harder by telling the Amalekites they have to bunny hop or walk on their tiptoes or whatever. And you're going to say, so guys, how hard was it to help Moses while trying not to get tagged? Did it become easier when your teammates supported your arms? Aaron and her worked together to help Moses keep his arms in the air. And the three of them worked together to help Joshua and the Israelites win the battle. And you know what? 
God used all of them to do something miraculous. So this week, remember to work together to help someone succeed. So just fun little game. Then for the memory verse activity, um, you've got these memory verse pages. You can take them up to the wall. You can split your kids into two or three teams um, just so it's a little bit more fun. And you're going to tell the kids to sit on the floor facing the verse, and you're going to lead kids in practicing the verse a few times. And then one kid is going to be the guesser, and they're going to stand with their back to the verse. And then one kid that's not the guesser will stand up and point to one of the words from the verse so that everybody can see it except for the guesser. And then the group's going to recite the verse but substitute the selected word with a hmm. And the, challenge, uh, the guesser has to guess which word they suggested. Okay? If the guesser struggles, just tell them to say, I need help. And the first kid to stand up when the guesser says, I need help, can whisper to them what the clue is. And then just continue until everybody's had a chance. And then say, great job working together. During this game, two things happen. Some of you asked for help while some of you helped. And remember, two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. What a great verse to remind us to show cooperation. So there's going to be times when we can work together to help someone else succeed. And there will be times when other people work together to help you succeed. Pretty cool. And then just to close down in prayer, you're going to invite kids to circle up and give each kid an index card and ask them to think of one person, a teacher, a small group leader, parent, coach, sibling, friend, that they would like to thank for helping them when they had a need. And then have, the, have kids write that person's name on their index card and then close your group with a prayer of thanksgiving. Um, and challenge kids to take the index card home and write a thank you note to the person that they put on their card. So that is it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for serving. Don't forget to check out your birthday board and see if you have any kids in your room with that birthday this week. You guys are amazing. So grateful for all of you. Thank you for continuing to serve our big kiddos. Um, love you all, and we'll see you on Sunday.